So hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today I'm going to share with you uh, my daily carry. Um, so this is probably my favorite knife of my uh, knife collection. Uh, as you can see, I did the, I did a video a day or so ago uh, to uh, show you the the complete collection and today I'm going to share with you uh, this particular knife. This is a case 62131 uh, and as uh, I described before the 6 stands for its bone so this is a amber jig bone uh, case knife. It's a canoe. Um, the 6 is bone, the 2 means it has two blade, a spear blade and a pin blade. I'm not a big fan of the pin blade because my nails are kind of weak, and uh, when I use the, uh, the nail slot there, uh, I usually damage the nails. But anyways, um, it's a great knife. It is a uh, brass line, a uh, brass frame, um, some folks would say. Uh, it is held together by three brass pins. Um, it does have a back spring. It's a beautiful, I don't know, did you hear it? This is, listen to the snap. It's a beautiful snap, super tight. Uh, there's no wiggle room in it at all. I've carried this thing for about, I don't know, about seven years now. Um, so it is a 6-2, means two blade. Uh, one three one uh, pretty much indicate that is the model number. Um, so what else? Oh, so it's, uh, it's a carbon steel blade, uh, chrome vanadium they call it. I hope I didn't screw up that pronunciation, but uh, I most likely did. Um, nickel brass uh, or nickel silver. Uh, bolsters, bone. I'm not sure what they call the jigging on this, but it's an extremely smooth jigging. It's, it's a beautiful knife. It's probably their best seller uh, in the uh, the amber. Um, you know, it's just out of all the other knives you can see you see on the table. Um, you know, my eyes just just gravitate to this. Um, so this became my daily uh, uh, my daily carry. Uh, extremely well made knife. It is a carbon steel knife and. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a canoe. I don't know, you probably can't see it. But there's a canoe there uh, with an individual uh, and a paddle. And uh, I use this quite a bit. Um, not to an extent where I did this type of damage to the blade, you know, over, over the year sharpening. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to do this because this thing is holding its edge uh, fairly well. Uh, and when I do try to sharp it, I just uh, I just want a decent straption right here, and uh, you know a couple of stroke versus trying to do the stone where I uh, where I actually screw everything up. Um, it does have a back spring, no safety. Case made these for many years. That's probably their signature um, signature knife. Let's see how. Let's see the measurement on this thing. Um, so it's about. Um, Close is almost four inches. Look like it's about three and three quarters. Um, the blade, well, the cutting edge, let's say, cutting edge is a little over two and a half. Uh, let's call it two and a half. Let's see the pin blade. The main blade is two and a half. The pin blade, uh, I guess the pin, pin cutting edge, I should say, is about an inch and three quarter. Um, overall length, just a smidge bit over eight inches, so it's eight and an eighth inch. Um, what else can I say? It's a wonderful carry. I mean, it looks fantastic, you know, when you're out. It's not intimidating when you carry it. Um, you know, when you pull this out, when I pull this out, you know, just to open, I use the pin blade to maybe open a letter. I use that to uh, strip some... Um, Romex when I need to, um, I think I cut, I was out and then I cut a fruit or something with the, um, with the main blade here. And as you can see, um, I didn't have the, uh, necessary cloth to, uh, clean the blade. So it does stain, you know, it is a carbon, carbon steel uh, blade. And so it does stain, um, case has been making these things. Well, they've been making knives for, what, a century and a quarter, 125 plus years. Um, an amazing, an amazing knife. I don't know if you can see the, uh, you can see that, the model numbers. And 
Case USA. You know, it, it's just something when you wear, like, let's say you wear this watch. When you're going out and, I mean, nothing dressed up, you know, a pair of denims or a button-down shirt and a uh, stainless steel watch, uh, matching shoes, and, you know, you carry this in your pocket. And it's a great accessory. You know, when you pull it out, you kind of look first class, you know. So with that, that's all I have on this. I hope you enjoyed this because this is a... And if you consider buy, if you're looking to buy a knife, man, this is the knife you know to, to buy. It's just my eyes, just like I said, my eyes just just get so attracted to um, to this color. You know, when I first look at you now the jade color, it's not bad. You know, it looks great in, in a photo, but it doesn't look that good in your pocket, and it's a little too big. You know, so um, my next favorite knife is probably this. Um, it's a dock limited edition, and again, you know, the colors kind of put me off. Um, it's it's a decent looking knife. Um, but you know, I'll um, I'll go through I'll go over my thoughts on all these knives uh, in future videos. With that, thank you so much for coming in. Have a good day.